Janice, since I recently saw your picture, you walking towards St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. Yes. With your red hair. We just got, we just got back from Rome Saturday at 2 o'clock. Um, Donna and I. Dressed as a priest. Anyway, my question would be, can you um, update us a bit on the, what happened there? Is there, is there anything positive? Most medicine, is it? Anything ne negative, positive, indifferent? Well, I, I, I believe we, you know, we did a witness, and uh, uh, you know, we came down the street straight towards the Vatican. We were uh, the, actually the best write-up so far is Bill Quigley on Common Dreams, and uh, also on Bridget Mary's blog. She has that article. I don't know how many of you have seen it. Bill is uh, Bill has been a, a, a human rights attorney for our peace and justice movements in the United States for many years. Got back from a stint at the uh, Center for Constitutional Law in New York. So he wrote this up and he was there with us. Um, now, yes, we'd say it was very positive. We went there with uh, the intention and we, we showed Pape's local to the Vatican at this eclectic theater uh, not far from the Vatican and uh, a women's ordination conference. Erin Hanna and Kate Conmey uh, put this all together along with uh, Nicole. And uh, Bob Heineman and others from Call to Action, they did the organization, mainly Aaron and, and Kate. And uh, so we uh, were there for a showing of Pink Smoke over the Vatican, and media was invited, and uh, they were there. And afterwards, we had a press conference. Uh, and uh, who was at the uh, who, who was at the uh, who was on the stage really uh, were Roy Roy Bushwell. Dorothy Urban talked about the history of women in the church, as she does in the movie. And uh, let's see, uh, was it Therese Kortubash from uh, womenpriest.org? That's John Weingartz, who's a priest for 40 years. Uh, we went, we visited House Talk, which is uh, where uh, the, the website, womenpriest.org, is operated. And they have volunteers. And, and then also, uh, I think the very Miriam Dunnigan from, uh, she's like their uh, media coordinator, I believe. And, and myself and Aaron uh, gave, uh, uh, we said a few words as part of the press conference. And then afterwards, uh, we were interviewed, uh, Roy and I were interviewed by, I think it was Associated Press. And then, uh, yeah, we, take, we took taxis to the corner of, uh, was that Via Consolidorie? <laughs> and, you know, we uh, had my tambourine and uh, we were, you know, we, we, we were singing uh, the Celtic Alleluia and Obi Caritas and uh, uh, then uh, what do we want, women priests, when do we want them now? And uh, we, Roy brought along his banner, um, let's see, ordained women priests in English, red and white, and then below it in, in Italian, and then walk there, a nice uh, purple and white banner, and I think that there might have been one or two others, and, you know, we marched, and we were stopped by one Italian policeman, and then we kind of went, went on until we got, you know, really close up. We were followed by some press, I think it was Reuters and Associated Press, and I don't know, maybe some others. Oh, I think it was 